The Music Educator Award mm -hmm. is given each year by the Recording Academy and the Grammy Foundation. In December, we introduce you to the top 10 finalists, now only on CBS This Morning. We're happy to say, stand up and be proud. North Carolina. Woohoo! Yeah. You lost the Super Bowl, but you you're very still got Charlie Rose. <laughs> Philip and now Philip Riggs That's from right. North Carolina School of Science and Mathematics is taking top honors. Mark Strassman met the teacher and his harmonious class. Go North Carolina. Two and at the North Carolina School of Science and Math, this stage is full of academic virtuosos, high achievers bound for America's best colleges. And their maestro is Philip Riggs. They're obviously motivated, but one of the challenges I think is how do we put those folks together in two years and make a, an ensemble that's challenging but attainable to everybody. When you follow along on your chart over here. This public right, high school's unusual. Here, Juniors and seniors only. And its 650 students live in dorms. Woodwinds uh, chromatic. Since 2008, the 50-year-old music instructor has taught these band brainiacs to read from the same sheet of music and more. And for people who are listening and saying, oh, he's got a bunch of smart kids, how hard could that possibly be? Right. <laughs> uh, very difficult. Keep going. You have to be on your A game, for sure. Or they'll let you know it. And they will, yes. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. That's, that's what keeps it fresh. And what's the best part of this job for you? Even when they're completely tired and mentally they're drained from all the academic work they've done, you can still see in their eyes the fire of, I want to do this well. John Waters on trumpet is an 18-year-old senior. 77 students play in this band, but somehow Riggs makes each of them feel like the star soloist. He'd be the first to ask, well, how's this going for you? And it's more about forming a personal connection. He's just such a special person, not just a special teacher, but a special person. Sarah Stafford and Graham Mulvaney are two of his former students. And what kind of an impact did he have on you and music? A uh, tremendous impact. His players are his audience for a series of life lessons. You're not always going to get first chair. You're not always going to make all state. And that's OK. And he taught us that even when we work very, very hard, there's still going to be obstacles in music and in life. And you just have to keep going. And you still play? I am still playing, yeah. Graham Mulvaney, now 25, says Riggs taught him to be a leader. He really showed me what music can be. It can be more than just playing notes on a page, but it can be an entire experience of shaping somebody's life, of, of really bringing joy to people. And it, I had no idea what that was before Mr. Riggs. What is your teaching style? Wow. It's about the music, but not mainly about the music. It's about integrity, it's about character, it's about enhancing their quality of life. The, the tool or the vehicle to do that is the music. They're dedicated to their instruments, but most of Rick's students have career ambitions outside music. John Waters hopes to so go to Yale to major in chemistry. Nice to Graham Mulvaney's finishing up medical school at the University of North Carolina. His specialty is neurosurgery. I made the decision I wanted to be a doctor who played saxophone versus a saxophonist who couldn't afford a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Sarah Stafford nominated Riggs for the Grammy Award. I don't really think he's a teacher. I think he's an inspirer. And by that, I mean he's not just an inspiration, but he taught us to be inspirations. She's now a middle school band director. As a mother, as a wife, um, as a teacher, as a friend, it's always, always about something bigger than myself. And I never would have learned that without him. Two former students asked Riggs to officiate at their weddings. How many kids from former bands are you still in touch with? Oh, wow. Uh... Hundreds at least. And that's who you are? It, it is who I am. If they call, if they write, they text, what, what can I do to help? I'm there. One and two and ready. When you watch the Grammys, look for Riggs in the audience. He'll be sitting right where he belongs, among the stars of music. For CBS This Morning, Mark Strassman, Durham, North Carolina. 
Yeah. That's the best testament to a teacher. Not only do you inspire, but then you inspire others to inspire. Right. That's yeah. great. Well That's said. And it's so good to get young people interested in music. Mm -hmm. At an early age. Those North Carolina early values music. sure are good, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. They, they produce some indeed. good people there, they don't do. they? They, they do, do indeed. Do. All right, and this morning's announcement coincides with the Grammys found the Grammy Foundation's Giving Day. It's a 24-hour effort to fund music programs in schools nationwide. You can watch the 58th annual Grammy Awards live from Staples Center in in Los Angeles. That's Monday night at 8:7 Central, right here on CBS.